Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on Assetto Corsa Competizione where we are hitting up the Spa 24 hours in what is this sort of continuation of the Blanc Pain GT Series Endurance Cup Championship that I've got going on on the channel. This is round four or five, so the penultimate one. It is the main event on the GT Endurance Cup, um, well, Blanc Pain GT Endurance Cup season. I've completely screwed over my first three races um, of the championship so far, but this is a long race, um, so anything can happen now first and foremost i'm not going to be running the full 24 hours because it is just me i'm the only person driving as a single driver in this race um and i do not have the ai control feature like i utilize on say r factor 2 or project cars 2 uh, so i don't have any sort of ai uh, co-drivers with me in this one so instead we're going to be running six hours which is still a bloody long way that is a lot of racing um, we're going to be going throughout the day night transition and as you can see it is wet um so my pace so far this weekend has been absolutely terrible because every time it seems to rain we are absolutely crap in this Lamborghini but it is going to dry out throughout the race from what I can tell just going off of what the weather says um, in the top right so we'll just have to wait and see what happens really um, the setup I've got on the car is mainly for the dry track so I'm hoping it's as dry as much as possible uh, but yeah we are starting off virtually dead last 31st out of 30, uh, 32 cars which is a bit of a shame because in this race in real life there's 60 plus cars however unfortunately on a set of course competizione it seems that whenever i go above this number of cars i just get ridiculously bad stutters my system just cannot handle it at all which is kind of strange because my system's usually uh fine with all the other sim racing games i have like r facts 2 and project cars 2 and i racing whatnot all righty here we go 24 hours of spa on Assetto Corso Competizione, what is round number four of this Blanc Pain GT Endurance Cup. Starting behind a factory BMW, of course, starting not on the F1 star finish straight, but straight after the hairpin before you go down into Eau Rouge. It's going to be a wet first lap, so it's going to be dodgy. Oh, we're at a snail's pace right now. Anyway, here we go. Green light, Green light is on. And six hours of racing to go. Oh my god, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Cold tires, Eau Rouge, GT3 car does not cooperate. Oh my god, they're going side by side in front of me. Alright, survived. Alright, down the Kimball straight for the first time, see if we can get a couple. Oh, geez, there's a river there. Now, I must admit, the uh, AI on ACC are very tentative on the first couple of laps, I've come to find out. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Oh, this is so greasy. Oh, yep, no, we're going. We're going. Never thought about it. <laughs> wow, there is just a row of Porsches. Look at that. Three Rover ones in a row. Fortunately, we couldn't get all the cars that was supposed to compete in this race in this actual race oh wow that's painted curb do not touch that Joseph <laughs> yeah due to the fact that we can only fit 32 cars on the grid there's a couple cars missing which is a shame but I think most of the main ones are in it we're in this not gonna lie my goal is just to simply finish this race if we can finish this race with how incredibly unstable this Lamborghini is in the rain and we should be all right but yeah we, as you can see we just do not have the pace to mount any sort of attack right now it's a long race though anything can happen this Porsche is all over my ass go away actually stopped raining here. Stay off that, stay off that. Good old bottleneck in the bus stop. It looks like some of the AI are pitting as well, that's good. I think it's too early for slicks just yet. We'll maybe wait one more lap. We should drive out there though. Alright, up to 19th, but some of the AI have pitted, so 
just wait here a little bit. I still see a little bit of spray in the cars in front, off the cars in front. Oh my god, man, there's just no grip through there at all. Now, as you probably already noticed, um, I do have uh, penalties turned off because I find they're a little bit too stringent in this um, in this game. So. BMW wants some of some of this good old 19th spot. It is greasy. dry line forming we might might have to pit for slicks this lap I do love that about this game though that the drying conditions you can see there are still rivers across the track like what there would be in real life it's so realistic I mean this game just in its own right I think is the most realistic, best out of the box simulator on the market right now. In terms of physics, graphics, you know, the way the car responds to setup changes and whatnot, it's absolutely awesome. But I'm just deciding, do I pit now or do I go one more lap? I think I'm going to pit now, just judging off, off of how quickly it's dried up just in this one lap alone. Alright, so stop is all set up. I knew it was going to dry out, I just wasn't sure when. Ooh, Deep into the pit lane. Alrighty, here we go. First stop onto Slicks. Comes really quickly, only on lap number two. But, as I said, the uh, keys to the race definitely being on the tyre at the right time. I'm going to have to guess this hopefully throughout the I'll race right. Oh, that's way too far into the box. Alright, and back out we go. Still see the pit lane is wet. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> oh man, it is going to be dodgy coming out of this pit lane, I tell you. Alright, here we go. A sketchy pit exit. is back on my ass again. <laughs> that corner and it just completely makes the car wash out.
interesting. Why they fit now? Alrighty, so first proper stint is in the books. We are actually in the lead of the race, um, and I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe the cars or the AI put wets on in that first stop. So interesting to see where we come out here. They pitted a good five or six laps ago. So maybe we've gotten lucky with some sort of gamble onto the slicks. We've got a whole half a pit stop ahead. Right, so we're going to come out in 21st. So we have made a couple of positions. Okay, that was scary. Bit of damage to that left rear now. Cheers, mate. Oh, cold tires. Shoulder there, but <laughs> should be right. Oh, Porsche in front of us. Well, skew if free spot oh, up into 19th. Man, we are doing all right. Got a little bit of pace here in the dry, a lot more than what I thought we'd have. again. No. Mind you, all the AI have just gone in to get slicks and hopefully if it pisses down they'll have to pit again and we'll, <laughs> we'll be in the lead. Would that be a turn of events? second proper sort of pit stop and due to the fact that a lot of the AI have had to pit again to put the right tyre on we're, we're actually going to probably after it all sort of cycles out be in the lead of this race Man, we've just got ridiculously unlucky um, lucky there and finally something's gone our way in this <laughs> this series mind you we've still got five hours of racing to go so I don't get too comfortable just yet Smart, make no mistakes. Because it is about to get really, really wet. We are 55 seconds away from second. And we have got seriously fortunate with the strategy now. I'm not gonna lie, our pace is nowhere near as quick as what it should be in the rain, so struggle to hold the lead here but hold on for as long as we can
god, this is so ridiculously wet now. Not to mention I'm on a lot more used tyres than the AI that are a lap down around me, so <laughs> we're going to struggle here for a bit until this next pit stop. Frick! Oh, I've been taken out. Fricks! You frickin' frick! Alright, well that's not gone well. Bloody AI, I swear to God. set of wets on but the uh, guys in second have caught up quite a bit on that last stint just made due to the fact that I am just so slow in the wet so I'm going to struggle to hold on to this lead here in this stint it's fun why it lasted <laughs> Okay, so a quarter of the way through the race, uh, we are still just about in the lead, although I think the way these pit stops are going to cycle out, we'll probably drop down to second or third, but yeah, just struggling for pace in the rain, really hoping it dries out at some point, but that lucky break we had earlier on has really helped us out, and in, yeah, quarter of the way, I'm actually going to switch the lights off now, because it's getting a bit dark and I'm struggling to see the monitor <laughs> with the sort of bright background. Alrighty, lights are off to head into the night we've got a five second lead so the guys in second have really caught up They're really struggled to hold on to this lead Kissing it down now for well over an hour. Struggling to see. Ah, oh, what are you doing, man? Black cars. Okay, well it actually turns out that we have managed to go a whole pit stop ahead of the AI, so the guy that was in second was only three seconds behind and then pulled into the pits, so I think we're actually getting a lap further in our stints than the AI is. I don't know how that's kind of possible because our stints are limited to 20 minutes, but anyway, it means that more fortunate luck <laughs> is coming our way in this race for now.
I must admit, these nighttime graphics are absolutely insanely cool. So realistic, the way the water sort of reflects off the light off the road. Unreal how realistic these games are getting. It's actually starting to stop raining now. So we might be back on the slicks here in a sec. Which is good, it's something that we sort of need now that we got this lead for now. It's taken a lot longer to dry out than what it was before. It's stopped raining now for the last sort of 15 minutes and it still hasn't gotten any, well, not that much drier. I mean, it's still spray coming off the cars in the distance, but hopefully we can drag this whole stint out to the end and not have to pit early to go on the slicks. It's definitely getting slippery though because the tyres are overheating. Ugh not that standing water to cool them down like what there was before but it's still damp it's too greasy to put slicks on we are still in the lead the ai made a pit stop as if to put slicks on but i think they've all still got wet it's been really weird the ai on this game are a little bit odd i'm not gonna lie i don't know how big our lead is but we have a lead that's all that matters So slick. No, no. going oh, what an idiot I knew I was gonna do that some some point throughout the night but anyway we'll just pit this lap well thankfully unlike in real life the uh, damage on a set of course isn't too bad so we could get away with completely destroying the whole front end but this is gonna be a long stop and probably drop us down the order oh, my mummy yeah I've gone with another strategy move. I'm going to try and go out on slicks in what is a st still very damp track. Yeah, so we've actually come out in eighth. And yeah, again, I don't really know what the uh, strategy in is like for all the AI cars. I know they're all pitting at different times, so who knows where we actually are, but we're in eighth of as, as of right now. Yeah, so. I'm hoping once we get through this sort of drying out phase, I mean right now we're a lot slower than the cars around us, but then still not quite s slick, oh, a, a slicks worthy track. It's getting close. come back into pit for wets. So this strategy move has worked out again and we are well on top of it in terms of strategy today. 
lucked out again. Well, I wouldn't really call this one luck. This was a, <laughs> a gamble. So it would seem that one of the Mercedes has actually done exactly what we did, which was pit slicks on on that final stop, um, and now they're ahead of us, which sort of makes sense. So we are actually second overall. I thought we were going to go to the lead, but still made up a number of positions back, which is good. It's good. Okay, so it would seem that something's happened to the leader. That leading uh, Mercedes has wrecked somewhere, so we're now back in the lead. We have 20 seconds on the guy in second. And there's still a lot, <laughs> a, lot, a, lot a lot of understeer through there, but yeah, back in the lead. Man, we are just, we have had absolutely no luck this year so far, and now it's just all coming at once. <laughs> Well, if there was a race that would have come in, I would, I would have wanted it to be this one. So, anyway, we're only two hours and twenty minutes into this one. We got to not get too excited. Three hours to go. Three and a half hours to go. Whew. Man, it's hot in here. UK summer. Um, ties up to pressure before we can really hound it through a rouge. No, ah, oh, here we go. Not again. Yeah, bang. Fucking hell, man. Somehow made <laughs> made it back to the pits, even though I literally cannot see where the heck I'm going. Just both my front lights are busted now. That's another one. But this is going to be a long pit stop. This is going to be a long pit stop. God, man, from the lead, throws it all away in the fence. All right, well, it started to rain again, so I've actually managed to put wets on, changed it through that stop. So I'm hoping we can actually get away with this sort of wreck with actually not having to pit again to put wets on but the question is are we going to completely burn these out on the first couple of laps really need it to absolutely chuck it down right now oh, I can't believe I did that that we've dropped all the way down to what is this now going to be 22nd oh, first to 22nd I was a lap ahead of these guys before we went and did that and it's this nighttime brain malfunction, that's what that was. Just got way too much curb. Yeah, I think we may have gone to the w <laughs> to the wets a little bit too early on this one. <laughs> Everything is just turning red on my dash. That was not a good idea, Joseph, so we probably just screwed ourselves over even more. Oh man, have I gone from hero to zero real fast. Piss it down. You can need Vasa. <laughs> oh wow. Well, oh, yeah, no. Barely hold on to it. Ugh, 
can't believe I've had to go and fence it from the lead. We've still got three and a half hours left, so we've got a long way to go, but that has not gone well at all. second hour, third hour, whatever hour we're up to. Nah, I got no grip. Idiot. Can't believe I've done what I've done. Such a monumental fuck up. Back of us now. Good old Ollie Jarvis. Again, we're just struggling in the rain. Really need this race to hopefully be dry in the second half. It seems to be wet for like a good 45 minutes, then dry out for 10. Be remotely out, remotely dry. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm getting a move on. Don't you worry. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> then gets dry for about half an hour, then goes back to being wet again. But we just don't get enough of that dry running to use the pace we have in this Lambo. Car on the right. As you can see, I have nothing for this listen here on the right, or anything for anyone around here. successful than the last one. Long way to go. Halfway there. It's been one heck of a journey so far, I must admit. But we're currently sitting in 15th, midway, well, in the mid-pack as well. Halfway through the race, halfway through the field, let's just see if we can keep moving forward using this sort of luck of strategy, <laughs> I guess you could say. This going one lap extra is really helping us out, it just means our options are so much better for when it does dry out or when we do have to go to wet. The sun's starting to slowly come up now, it's 4.30 in the morning in the race time, but we do have wet weather on the cards for the next at least seven minutes, that's as far as the forecast sort of tells you on this game. We'll just keep at it.
Alright. Another lap, another pit stop. Virtually every single car that we came in with. <laughs> Neat. Good job, lads. is sketchy enough in the dry, let alone in the wet. Alright, the pit's running 15th still. Haven't made any gains just yet. Just battling to keep everyone behind me, to, the, <laughs> to be completely honest. Audi behind us is very quick. Passed us with ease just before we made our pit stop. We struggled to struggle to keep this thing behind us. Up, I suppose. Leading this and fitting. So we're good through the first and last one, it's just virtually everywhere else we suck. <laughs> we don't have the lateral grip in the rain. It seems to be good in the dry, but just, uh, try and get this thing hooked up. Here, lads, this is this is properly done now. Yeah, no, this is a minute 49 repairs. Yeah, no. Oh, I can't believe it. Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> I made it so far into this race as well. Uh, three and a half hours of driving. I need to go and fence it again, man. I just, to be honest, this Lamborghini has just been way too, way too unstable this entire race for the for the wet conditions. So we're just gonna have to call it there because I, I can only see myself going and doing this again. But it was fun while it lasted. We were in the lead for a while. Um, yeah, no, disappointing. But anyway, we'll move on. There's one more round left, so there's at least one more round for us to get somewhat of a decent result and that'll be at the Catalonia circuit. So we'll record, record that video later on in the year. But yeah, until next time, thanks guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later. Box, box, Damn it.